Hello everybody, today is Sunday, October 11th, 2020, 64 Fahrenheit, 18 Celsius. I am at Hudson Yards right now, looking straight at the vessel structure. Hudson Yards is the most expensive U.S. development in history at $25 billion. I just went inside the shopping mall to get some face masks at Uniglo. They offered me a free promotion through the app. I can get some free face masks, so I took advantage of it. But anyway, this video will have me walking from Hudson Yards all the way to Chelsea via 11th Avenue. A very short stretch of streets because I'm going to be ending around 23rd Street and this is already 33rd Street. But Hudson Yards is actually more busy than I thought. They even have here a Van Leeuwen food truck here, ice cream. Used to be my favorite ice cream in New York City, but they're still really, really, really good. Only got beat up by the Museum of Ice Cream on Broadway in Soho. Here I'm looking at the shopping mall, which I just went inside. Hudson Yards is still under development. It's incredible. And I guess the tourists are still coming to New York City. Wow, look at this. Soul Cycle has their outdoor uh, bicycle set up here, or rather, the indoor cycles in the, out, in the outside. Really uh, innovative way to still keep Soul Cycle running. And you can even see them practicing good hygiene here and health. They're busy uh, sweeping the grounds. But yeah, let's go over here and I'll head over to 11th Avenue. Here you can see the vessel structure. I remember it was free for me to climb up the vessel when it first opened. I'm not sure if that's still the case. I haven't done it since um, last year. Wow, look at this. Hudson Yards is really uh, changing due to the times. Now they have these squares on the ground to indicate safe uh, spaces and distances for people to come by. And now they even have a outdoor area for beer and wine. Looks like a beer fest over here. Oktoberfest, according to that uh, tarp on the counter bar there. I won't get any closer because I do not want to get copyrighted with music. But this whole area is called the Backyard at Hudson Yards. I guess this is um, what Hudson Yards envisioned when they built this area. Of course, with this big space, they weren't just going to leave it empty. But now they have like activities here. Everyone's trying to get that perfect shot. Oh my gosh. I'm in everybody's yeah. selfie right now and picture. My gosh. Let me go around here and try to go around here quickly because I don't want to photobomb any more people by accident. But I'm sure they could wait a few seconds, right, to get that picture. <laughs> Wow, I'm even moving more and more forward and people are moving back even more. It's impossible for me to uh, get around people here and not get in the way of their picture. Let me go over to the left. This is the spot of Hudson Yards that not too many people explore because they're too busy with the front. But, um, oh, look at this. L Street Art based in New York City. 
and they're still busy constructing it right now and decorating it. Well, let me walk over that side so I can show you the entirety of the route proper. And only two blocks north of me is the Jacob Javits Convention Center. Here you have to be kind of careful because this is kind of tricky because this is a driveway. You can see here there's a sign for the Equinox Hotel to the left. And there's big yield to pedestrian signs everywhere just in case. This is only half of Hudson Yards, folks, that's finished. The western half of Hudson Yards is yet to be finished. Only the eastern half is finished. Over there, you still see the exposed tracks for the Long Island Railroad and New Jersey Transit. But maybe in a few years, that's going to be covered up and more buildings are going to be built on top of it. New York City's newest neighborhood, Hudson Yards. Not really a big fan of it because it just seems like too glamorous and flashy. Even the, even the shopping mall is like the first floor is all rich stores like Prada and Piaget and Louis Vuitton and you have to like go all the way into the back to find the escalator to go up to the second floor. That's how the uh, developers get people to shop the first floor without by um, walking through the back just to get to the escalator and the elevator. And then I think the food court is on the fourth floor so you even have to walk through the whole mall to get to the food court. It's a smart design. See even more buildings going up on 11th Avenue. If this car is reversing, I should be careful. You see this is all a driveway. It's getting dark a lot earlier now in New York City. Ever since the autumn, now the sun sets around 6.30 or so. Here in front of me is the High Line Elevated Park. I do believe this section is closed. When I went to the High Line on opening day, it was only open until 23rd Street, but now I believe it's open um, open until 30th Street, which is here, but the uh, section that's further east from here. Also, the High Line is still one direction, I believe. It's no longer a two-direction park. But I have plenty of videos on the High Line if you'd like to check it, check it out. Here's a local hot dog cart. Seems like it's pretty popular, actually. Okay, can I cross the street safely? Yes, I can. All right, so I'm gonna turn the camera back around, let you see this side of Hudson Yards. Over here is the shed, the performing art space. It also moves too. And just on the corner of the camera right here, or rather the building here, you can see the outdoor observation deck for the edge at Hudson Yards. It's at the very top of 30 Hudson Yards, but it's the highest observation deck in the Western Hemisphere. Hello. Here we've got a uh, marketplace. This area on 11th Avenue is changing quite rapidly.
all the development from the Hudson Yards area has kind of spread to the lower reaches of 11th Avenue. You can see here there's an advertisement for Avalon West Chelsea. I'm not sure if I would cross the street right now. Very busy here actually. With all the cars, I didn't expect it to be this busy. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Basically, it seems like all of West Chelsea, south of Hudson Yards on 11th Avenue, is just turning into residential buildings. And the places here are probably very expensive or they'll charge high rents. Although probably not as high as Hudson Yards. Very fancy building, the Avalon. I'm not sure what this drive is going to do, but I guess I'll go. This is a cool little spot. The Terminal Warehouse, West Chelsea. And it looks like before, you can see the old lettering on the top there. It says it's a free cold bonded storage. But now I guess it's a food hall. Let me check it out because I still have a few seconds to cross the street. I'm glad I was able to cross the street in time. Manhattan Wine Company, wow. juice bar too. Really neat. And then you have a auto dealership across the street. Manhattan supercars, I guess, it's, I guess it is. I can't really read it because um, the tree's blocking the way, but you've got Bentley there, Lotus, and Lamborghini. Really high-end car brands. And here there's some cobblestone streets. Although they're really Belgian blocks, but New Yorkers will just call them cobblestones. This building's kind of old school, looks like an office building. 260 11th Avenue. And there you see the uh, imposing skyline of Hudson Yards in the distance. I see a lot of people out in that observation deck, the edge. I'll definitely be going back there to the edge. I had a lot of fun there during the opening day and it was definitely a very thrilling experience. There's a section there where you can peer through the glass floor and it looks like you're standing on top of the world but that observation deck from every direction there's clear glass so you just see like nothing between you and the sky in front of you 
really makes for some interesting views and pictures. Here's a mini storage place, the Bedrock Mini Storage. I guess with all these uh, skyscrapers and small spaces, there needs to be a lot of storage space. So many New Yorkers I know they buy extra storage space for all their belongings. Looks like there's a vacant lot over there. Maybe that's going to be turned into something tall soon. Who knows? Chelsea Art Center at 210 11th Ave. Wow, this is an old, old logo for the U.S. Postal Service. I haven't seen this logo in forever. This must be an old uh, postal sorting facility. And even more tall developments in the background. Why is there a loose dog here? Oh, there's the owner. Twenty Fourth Street. And over here is Chelsea Waterside Park part of the Hudson River um, Park. Now I did do a video throughout the entirety of 23rd Street where I walk from here all the way to the east side where the FDR Drive is and the East River. So you can check that out. But I will walk to the Hudson River now and end the video. There it is, 23rd Street in the distance. Hudson River Park. This uh, Chelsea Waterside Park is pretty charming. Actually, let me walk over there. Since I'm here already, you can see it. Really, really nice playground here for children. Kind of looks like a long fish, and that's a really long slide. Over here is a soccer field, otherwise known as football in most of the world. Hopefully I'll be able to cross the street safely because I don't like crossing this street, it's very, very busy. All right, I have the walk signal right away. Maybe it's my day. But as soon as you get into the crosswalk, the countdown timer starts. So they do not give you enough time at all.
All right, Hudson River Park. Chelsea Piers is to my left. Actually, all of this area is considered Chelsea Piers. That's the Chelsea Piers area. Be careful, look both ways for the cyclists. I also did a video where I walked the entirety of the Hudson River Greenway. It's a very, very nice cycling path. Although right now, I do believe that the city is redoing a portion of it in Upper Manhattan. And that portion is closed for about three weeks. So I'm glad I was able to get a video of it before any more detours were um, going to change the route up. And here's a nice little green lawn for people. Glad I could come here before the sun completely set. The colors are still really nice. Big step there to get off, but gotta do it right. <laughs> and we've reached the Hudson River and also the end of this video. If you enjoyed this evening walk from Hudson Yards along 11th Avenue to the Chelsea Piers area, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for some more videos and live streams. And I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone, and bye bye.